Welcome back, guys. On today's episode of Sex and Bacon, we are talking about everyone's favorite subject, uh, nudes and unsolicited dick pics. That's your favorite subject anyway. It's because I like them. You do. I do. You do like them. We have different thoughts on this. We do. Yeah. Um, okay, so first though, starting with women's nudes, I feel like people have very differing <laughs> thoughts and feelings on this for many different reasons um meaning on sending them like whether or not it's acceptable or it's trashy or if it's yeah it shows a lack of self-respect all the things (laughs) I've heard (laughs) yeah okay so with that being said do you send nudes I mean have I sent nudes yes is it a frequent thing no but I don't think there's anyone that hasn't sent a nude right so is it not a frequent thing in the regards that you just don't want that out there for people to see? Or, yeah. But do you send your face in them? If it's like someone I trust and care about, then yeah. Okay. If it was just some random, no. Okay. It's one thing if you're cutting your head off and it's the body, but like putting your face in it is personal and that's never going to go away. Then that's that's always potentially there to haunt you. Right, I guess because it's more of the sense that people do send them and share them with their friends. Mm -hmm. So here's the thing, though. I think that because as women, we can be very hard on ourselves, Mm -hmm. very hard on ourselves for the way that we look, Mm -hmm. our bodies. I think sometimes putting on something sexy and taking a picture, sometimes the way that that picture turns out can actually be kind of empowering. And all of a sudden you're like, oh, I really do look good. Or that's a great picture. I and agree. it's a bit of an ego boost. I agree. Right? And I've taken some that I've never sent anybody. I just like them because I felt good about it. I felt like I look good. Right. But there's a difference between like a full nude too and then just like a scantily clad sexy photo in like lingerie or do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I've posted one on Instagram that I got a bunch of, I got a bunch of love for, but I got a bunch of backlash for. Yeah, I saw that but it, was, it wasn't even that bad. That's what I thought too, right? But then I got tons of, com- like, well, not directly to me, but being called thirsty, being called, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So I guess for women, it does, you know, bring up the whole insecurities of what will people think, but. I felt good about the photo. I didn't feel good about some of the backlash. Yeah. But I guess you really have to have that kind of that idea of like, I don't give a fuck of yeah. what other people well, think. Well, I know it looked good, so <laughs> right. I don't care. Um, I do think that I know that it's a big thing for younger people that people worried about it. And that's out there, I think, maybe based off of my background and even working in, you know, doing showgirl stuff that obviously nudity Dressing Mm -hmm. up sexy, putting on things is something that's definitely way more common Mm -hmm. in that industry and things that we did. So maybe we have a little bit more ease with it. Like You got to remember, though, anything we did back in the day, like back in our early 20s and younger, wasn't documented like it is now. Like I, I would never advise my daughter to send a nude at any point in time until like her 30s when she's doing it with caution and knows she trusts the person. Like imagine sending those in junior high high school now and how immature and evil kids can be and then that never goes away it's the that's body one shaming. that's one send button and everyone in your school has it yeah but it's the it's the body shaming that comes with and it and body shaming and slut shaming yeah. like all that stuff right like i don't know it was different for us as cuz i not that we ever sent nudes as kids but you know what i mean like it's it's a different time and and uh you know what I'm I do. I think the so I think the very Did first you send nude. nude. No, but like when oh, I was oh like God. mailed it. No. Sent like a horse pictures. and chariot. So I was like, that's the funny you thing. You took nudes with Polaroid? No, the very first nudes I ever you saw of a girlfriend that I went one. to high school with was like these guys at this party pulled it out and it was all these Polaroids. And I was like, Holy shit, those are really out there forever. But they had they her really face weren't. in them. No, that's no, just those it. are like, gone. <laughs> but it's like in my mind, I'm like, people can pass this around, right? And so it was kind of like, oh, that's a thing. But I don't know. I That'd think... be so like awkward. Like, take this nude for me. And then you got to wait for it to like, zzz, and then you got to stand there and shake it. Like, does it look good? No. Take another one. <laughs> You're 45 minutes in to get three nudes. <laughs> oh, do you need to bring that back? Okay, hold on. Do you not remember having to take your pull your camera to Walmart to get developed and you're hoping that like... Can you imagine the this nudes? shit? The like... poor photo developer guy, because they were always older, yeah. would see now if people still did that. Yeah. Imagine the shit they saw because of you. 
You developed a lot of pictures. Oh, I did. You had a whole Penis album of stuff. Even. Yeah. I forgot Some poor, that. like someone's grandpa was back there developing yeah. those. And I probably always... still talks about you to this day. Yeah. <laughs> I always knew Fair I was fact. safe. It was a guy who took my rolls of film. But if it was a woman, I always thought, oh, God, I'm not going to get these pictures back. No. Like, especially like if, they like, didn't I turn out. In... No, right? It's Turned like they're Jesus. pissy about it. Yeah. So, yeah, no, I forgot about that good old print. I don't know. I don't know. I like the fact that we can take it on our phone. I like the fact that we can have a friend come over, help positioning. I like taking those pictures. I don't mind sending them. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I do believe, and maybe this is because I do appreciate dick pics. Yes. I think that because of the way that we live in the world where people want to see what they're getting, and I get that that very much so sexualizes us and sexualizes a relationship, if you are having a casual relationship with somebody, though, mm -hmm. I do personally for myself, I want to see a picture before. If you're having, if you have a casual relationship with them, yeah, you want to see a picture before, before agreeing to, like people do the online dating, right? This sounds messed up though. Look at the like selective society we live in now. You need to see what you get before you even hook up with it. What happened to the mystery and the fun and the excitement? Well, now you got to send like a resume. Okay, first of all, the mystery is 90% little dicks. So, <laughs> Which brings us to our next topic. I am really, really, really appreciative of knowing what it is before so I can decide if I even want to go down that road. That's unfair. To the guys? Yeah. Okay, what's the difference though for guys on their profiles – swiping left or right on girls with small boobs or big boobs. You're right, you're right. They specifically know that they have a type. You're right. They can see it. We can't see anything. That's true. And being in your 20s, cool. Yeah, you know, the mystery was fun. Those five seconds of when your hand slides down, you're like, what am I going to get? <laughs> and then so like then that's the first question all your friends asked, was he big? Because that's all what girls want to know. Is he big or is he not big? That's true. So the unsolicited dick pic, eh, okay. Solicited. Unsolicited? Yeah, solicited. solicited. I want to know. If I ask you for one or if you ask and I say it's okay, that's one thing. Right. I don't want to open my inbox to like that. It's very invasive. I don't know. I'm kind of a penis connoisseur. I know you love it. And I like she looking at them. them. I like looking at the different shapes and sizes. And she does. Yeah. I got no issues with it. But I do think... If you are a girl who 1000% knows what you like sexually, you mm -hmm. know what works for you, mm -hmm. and why waste time hooking up with somebody who you know is not going to be able to get you off? That's unfair. How do you know that based on a, a dick pic? You can't tell me you've never hooked up with a guy that may not have been the most well-endowed but blew your mind. Um, oh, I've heard you say that. Who? I can't remember. I'm not going to name names. Mostly. I don't know. Okay, so average, like a little bit bigger than average. But hold on a minute, though. Every guy out there thinks he's big. This is true. So. You do. I have asked that. Remember the guy at the strip club? I won't say his name, whatever. And I met him there when I went there with those two girls. He was younger, way younger. And as soon as I knew his age, I was like, no, you're way too young. I'm not going to say his name because I don't remember the okay, story. that's fine. But. So for two years, he pursued wanting to get together. And I asked him first, I said, okay, hold on. Maybe you are too young, but do you have a big dick? And he said, yes. And I said, show me when you get home and then I'll decide. And do you not remember when he sent me pictures? This was like, I swear to fuck, it was like a four inch dick. And I was like, oh my God, this guy <laughs> told me he did a big dick. How does he think this is a big dick? That's right. Okay. Yeah. And so yeah. for two years, I blew this guy off. And yeah. then at a point of desperation, I think two years ago or a year ago, Remember, I did hook up with him. A year him. ago, I don't remember. Start of COVID, I got back from Mexico, and I reached out <gasps> right, to him to finally... Right, 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 right. I just needed attention because I was going through some Shout shit. out to that guy. You know <laughs> who you are. <laughs> like, but... Poor guy. No, I wanted it to work so bad. He, he was did. cute. I he waited did. till he, like, matured a couple years, so it didn't look so fucking weird. That's right. And I gave him a fair shot. And no matter what, in every position, I was just like, you're hitting the tip of something that's never going to go anywhere and you feel completely unfulfilled. So after having countless experiences where somebody cannot pleasure you because of lack of size, I'm at a point in my life 
where I don't have time to waste on somebody who I know is not going to sexually be able to get me off. Okay, but that, yeah, that comes with age. That comes with age. That comes with experience. That comes right. With, yeah. So I do think that that is a very valid question and a very valid thing. If you're hooking up with somebody and strictly it's a hookup, yeah. why not know what it is first so you know whether or not it's worth going down that road? You're a woman that knows what you want. And gentlemen, just know if you send her a nude, we all see them. Okay, that's true. We all get them. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah. Okay. So I guess with that being said, the unsolicited... And guys probably do the same thing. You send them a nude, guarantee. Yeah, and I never thought of that before. That's why you use like vanish mode and Snapchat because it just like, they have like five seconds and it goes away. Yeah, okay. Forever. I don't. I send them all Unless they have like a second phone. Which is like pretty. That's what we do. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, hold on a minute. I got to open this video or picture on Snapchat so with, my other, with my other phone, phone so that I can send it to you guys. I don't think we're the first ones to think of that. No. No. That's no. Okay. It is quite genius, to yeah. be honest. But yeah, you're right. Okay. I've. I don't know. I get it. I guess if you send a nude, then yes, you have to expect that somebody else is going to see it. That's why whatever. Always. I never use my face in it Mm -hmm. unless it's somebody you're actually dating. But I think it can like build. It builds sexual tension. It does serve a purpose. Yeah. That I could see. Right? Yeah. Or if you're in a relationship, that's different. Those can be really hot. That's a good way to, especially if there's distance. True. Right? Keep it exciting. Mm -hmm. I'd rather send nudes than do like the FaceTime. Yes. Yeah, I'm not into that. No. Yeah. Then you can like situate, critique. Yeah. First of all. Send them to friends for critiquing. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to make this video. Now I got to edit it, cut it, send it to like Okay, I don't people. do all that. No? I don't do all that. If you edit it? Videos? Yeah. If you're doing like a little video to send somebody a video of like you touching yourself or anything, fucking right, I edit it. Do you have like a camera crew and then like no, goes you through an editing? In like, shot. No. You can add tones for warmth. You can add like skin tone if so if i don't have a spray tan on and i don't want to be now i do pasty white it's like here you go okay. you can cut out certain parts you know i don't know oh, see my content is is original hold on do Ish. you send videos though no yeah i send videos no. shower videos so no to do a shower video yeah you got to edit that shit you got to cut out the part of you actually getting in the shower starting it the part that you don't look hot right <laughs> Bent over adjusting temperature. You drop the soap. Like that could be hot in the right context. They don't need to see that. They might want to. Mm. Give them the full thing. One of these days you're gonna send the unedited version. Fuck I would die. (laughs) Like No, be like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, okay. Maybe I'm not coming over later tonight. Mm -hmm. Something came up. I've got a meeting. Okay, so that's why I send all of our shit to fucking SB. Ah, uh, SB. Yeah, yeah. Yes. He points out everything. Okay. He's our editor. I can hear your TV in the background. Why the fuck is there a kid's toy in the corner of that picture? Okay, but he critiques them to a level where it's like, no one else is looking at that SB. Like, you're the only one. Someday you guys will find out who SB is and he'll make an appearance. But I would rather him over criticize it. Then then under not and I send it and somebody else think that because I've done that too if a guy sends a picture I'm like why the fuck is there like a ball in the background of that like it's just the most like your room is dirty yeah yeah yeah. I do look at the background if guys do send me pictures I look at the background I critique your room yeah like if you have ugly art on the walls I'm like oh you're kind of (laughs) trashy I'm not coming. A little vape and things. Sitting yeah, on, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I critique all those things too. Okay. It has to be a clean background. Fair. Yeah. I don't know. Hotel ones are the, like the weirdest ones. I get lots of those ones from dudes. Really? Yeah. You can tell when it's a hotel because oh, you know yeah, remember we got the same bathroom. hotel one from the same guy. Recent? Like the unsolicited when, one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hold on though. Didn't that guy send a whole bunch to a lot of people and then I think it's like I saw him get like called out on social media for it? No, this one was married. Oh. Remember? And he sent us like the same hotel room one. Was this recent? Yeah. It wasn't that long ago. Do I know this person? Kind of. Did I hook up with this person? No. The same hotel one. Yeah. Didn't you, you get one? Do you know that his name? Yeah. Well, give me the first initial. I don't remember. Oh, A. No? Fuck, I don't know. Okay, I'll, I'll fill you in it? later. A um, couple months? I thought you did for some reason. I do remember us talking about something. 
like a hotel room like I don't know if I can. No. I get so many. I know you're just so inundated like, with them. I get like three, and I'm like, oh my god! I don't know what to tell you. Okay, well, yeah, I'll fill okay. you in later. Yeah, okay. we don't want to put the guy on blast. Yeah, fair. Oh. Okay, so back to that then. Mm-hmm. Unsolicited dick pics. Unsolicited. I think. Well, okay. I see a lot of girls always saying in their little videos, "If you send me an unsolicited dick pic, I'm sending it to your mom." I don't understand why the fuck they care. Why would you not just look at it? Send it to all of your friends. Yeah, especially if it's bad. Yeah. The yeah. ones are gross. Yeah. But especially the good ones. Share the videos. Share the pictures. Especially because it's nice to know and nice to see that there is men out there with big, beautiful penises. And even though they're very lacking in reality. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's why I share them. I'm just like, look at this. I'm missing out on this. Fuck, this is out there. That's true. You right? do that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think you guys have more from me than you do from guys. Well, I think you have a United Nations of unsolicited dick pics. Working You've got on one it. from like every country. Working on it. Right? Working Which countries are you missing? We can, we can ask um, the audience right now. Well, there's Greece? some countries I don't think I want them from. Really? Like, why? Yeah. Because I just assume they're going to be on the smaller side. That's dick discrimination. Yeah. That's well, unfair. Who wants to look at the ones I'm going to are... start a hashtag. <laughs> dick discrimination. <laughs> okay. There's one for everything else. <laughs> That's Might as fair. Well. Um, I would like to see a lot of Ireland. Irish. Ireland. Scottish. Yeah. Like culturally. We've been talking about I that lately. See that Scottish. situation scottish yeah and yeah, with like a sea shanty playing in the background yeah yeah wellerman yeah <laughs> <laughs> do the dance there should be like a dick version dance to that the wellerman yeah yeah i don't know i feel like there's a lot of countries that i've seen and you have seen not overly countries. impressed with no no least impressive you, know, you make me say this yeah least impressive country yeah india yeah yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like, like, all right. All right. All right. Uh, via picture, via real life. I don't know. When in real life? The doctor. I thought you meant my doctor. I was about to jump across the table no. and kill you right now. No, no. Okay. The so doctor. That's our doctor. That doctor. It's that my doctor. doctor. In that way, he's mine. Well, it's never going to happen. Why? Country you're least impressed with. I don't have like a United Nation of dick pics to to compare this. Okay, to. so the I'm not as like open with... with you about it. <sighs> I can't say, <laughs> like, can't say, say it. Italy was disappointing. Um, right. Hmm. I'm gonna plead the fifth. Come I'm, no, on. I'm pleading the fifth. I choose not to comment. Really, it's my God given right. Okay, yeah, I'm pleading the fifth. You're welcome to whatever country it is I was about to say. I'm assuming then that means that you haven't broadened your horizons as much. No, I haven't. Multi. I've broadened my horizons in like different ways, but not in the like similar ways that you have. Hold on. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? I mean, I feel like I've had a lot of fun. I feel like I've been a lot more out there with certain things, but not like I don't need to go around the world. To Are you know. calling me a slut? Yes, <laughs> in the nicest way, though. Hold on. She's, First of all, you explore your options, like you said. I keep my options open. She keeps her options. Okay, hold on a minute, though. Open. When I'm in a relationship, you're good. I am you are beyond good. loyal. You are good, and I'm good. Yes, you are. I'll if I'm that. not, and I am filling a void or trying to make myself—that what you call it—a void. <laughs> Filling something. Trying to make myself feel better, mm-hmm. then yes, I will mm-hmm. spread my wings and fly. By wings, she means legs. Whatever. I speak Sarah. The same thing. I'll translate. <laughs> Actually, I've been really good lately. You have been really good lately. Really good lately. You have been very boring. Okay, so you're welcome. Yeah, I kind of miss the old you. <laughs> like- I live vicariously through you sometimes. Yeah, because you want to know the sizes of all the different dicks. Yeah, takes out the legwork for me. Yeah, <laughs> fair. And then I can yeah. just share. No. 
I do share really well. We don't really share. Well. We, don't, we don't share. We don't share very we often. We don't share. It's because we have vastly different tastes in men. Yeah, you like old guys. I like some old guys. You Not like, all old guys. You like most. I like old older, guys. Or like same age as me is as young as I can go. Maybe like a couple years younger. You? That's a very different story. I like them. I'm attracted to power and to seniority. Not like seniors, though. Don't get that mistaken. But you know what I mean? Okay. Power. Fair. I'm attracted to... I like powerful guys. And money. A 20-year-old is, is I not speak powerful. Darby. You like money. I used to like money. I don't anymore. I don't go for money anymore. Okay. Hold the fuck on. I am not a gold digger. I never said you were a gold digger. You have called me a gold digger. I have called you a gold Multiple digger. Multiple times. It's not that I'm saying you're a gold digger. You like security. That's the politest way to yes. say it. You like security. You like men that are older because they have the illusion of financial security. I just don't want to, like, I don't, I'm not into dating a guy that, like, I don't want to say isn't successful, but, like, isn't motivated. Okay. How motivated are you? I work every day. <laughs> like, you've had two jobs since I've known you. Like, <laughs> I've had more than two. Okay. Three. I was a magic assistant. I worked at a car dealership. <laughs> The now I'm like a glorified okay. receptionist. The dealership and yeah. this real estate agency are the only two places you had real jobs. That Being you... a magic assistant and a showgirl for 10 years was a real job. Yeah, but you only got into that because the guy that you were with is who you did it I with. I worked for you him to... before, for like a week, <laughs> before we started dating. Right. That doesn't matter. I'm just saying. Okay. Like, you fucking... Leave me alone. <laughs> More jobs than you've had. No, that's not true. That's not true at all. You know what that speaks to? I'm a jack of all trades. That speaks to my longevity in jobs. I don't bounce around because I'm so beneficial that they keep me. I you, think that, hold on. I think that speaks more to your longevity of staying in a shitty relationship as long as it's paying your bills than anything else. No. <laughs> like, Sean? Hi, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I worked for him. Yeah, but it doesn't mean and you didn't I stay there longer. And I wore the pants in that really. I kept that shit going. For sure. See? You're I controlling put, too. I put in my time. I used to be controlling. But not anymore. I'm not controlling. Okay. I'm no longer controlling. As of this day, moving forward? As of like the past like two years. So being Year. single. Yes. So as a single person, you're not controlling. I'm not controlling at all. No, that's fair. You're single. You have nobody I'm to control. Single. I don't. So, no, I don't. You're right. Right? Easy to not be controlling when you're the only person I'm, taking you care have no of one yourself. to control. <laughs> like, I can't control you because you're the world's biggest control freak. I'm not a control freak. I just have high expectations. The of amount people. of times she said that, you were the biggest control freak. That's what a control freak would say. Mm. I'm not a control freak. I just have high expectations. And you don't think that I should have high expectations? No. Why? Look at the people you hang out with. <laughs> Like, a valid point. <laughs> like no you really shouldn't hold on somebody said that to me the other day and was saying something about like how i feel young and hang out they're like right but that's because you hang out with people that are super young so you have this like disillusion that you're not aging and i'm like yeah. okay yeah if that's what keeps me young i'll keep my young friends i don't care i don't not ready to accept the case okay, so maybe that's why i like younger guys then i you can... why because huh? you can control them no, because I haven't accepted the fact that I'm aging and I don't want this to is exactly age why. and older men are boring. They don't do anything. That's so not true. What the fuck do they do? They do more than younger guys do because they're more experienced. No, they're not active though. They don't like to go out and have fun. They don't like to be ridiculous. They don't like to be silly. They have very like high like egos and expectations of themselves to act a certain way and to be a certain way. I'm silly, I'm retarded, and I like somebody who's going to stoop to my level of ridiculousness. See, and I kind of like the, like, sometimes, don't get me wrong, I want to be goofy and dumb sometimes, but I also kind of am attracted to the guy that can go out and not make a fool of himself. I'm not using the guys that I go with make fools of themselves? thousand percent. I don't think so. Yeah. Are you talking, like, alcohol-related? No, just, like... 
like you said, older guys care more about what people think and they go out with more yeah. of like, a, I sometimes I find that attractive. Okay. And see, and I don't because of judgment. I have an issue with people who are judgmental. I have an issue with people who have judgment on themselves and judgment of other people that they're around. So you call me judgy. Well, you are super fucking judgy. When am I judgy? What You're do you being mean? judgy right now. <laughs> it's like, You're judgy. You are judgmental. I don't think I'm judgmental. I think your judgmental comes from a different reason of actually genuinely judging them, though. I think that it comes from, like, the fear of other people judging you. And oh, I think... K. Dr. Phil. I'm just saying. So I think that sometimes we tend to look at other people and the things that they're doing more so because it's like we fear that they're judging us. Okay. Yeah. I could see right? that. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like everybody does that. I don't. You don't judge. Who do I judge? Okay, yeah, you're not very judgy. I'm not judgy at all. It, first of all, if Sorry, you look, it gets overshadowed by your control freakness, <laughs> and I just group it all into one if issue. If you look at my circle of friends and you look at the differences in all you of them. You definitely do have a wide variety. Exactly. So. Yes. Me being with a guy who's an older guy, I feel like will take away from that carefree ability to just enjoy people like everybody, have fun, and not worry about what somebody's thinking of you or things like that. That's true because I have been with guys, obviously, that had took issue with my friends and it became like a thing. By friends, I mean <laughs> you. I'm your only friend, so you mean just me. SP. Yeah, I guess. That's He's not judgy. Issue. Actually, I keep he my is circle judgy. Small. He is judgy. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. gotten judgy yeah. lately. Uh, think... Yeah, your last ex. Yes. We never, ever hung out with him. We never, ever no. spent any time. And I think I thought that was strange because I think in a relationship, people should, should be, be able like to immersed. hang out with their friends, mm -hmm. right? And I think if you have a completely separate life mm -hmm. from that, that shows right there the difference. And it showed right away that there was no longevity there. It was no. never going to last because no. I had to be like immersed in his life, but not the other way around. And he, he was too judgy. Exactly. Yeah. He wasn't true. willing to, yeah. you know, to get to know your friends, to see them for difference, actually. And I think a lot of it has to do with the past, like we were talking about before. Yeah. You, that partner you had judged your friends for the past things that they did and jobs. And I think I felt that the most. Yes, you definitely got that the because most. Because of the fact that I used to strip and it was yeah. like, oh... She was the stripper. Oh, I know her. She used to work a few parties. Yeah. So right away, that's all I was ever telling Yeah, that's as. true. And there was no way he was ever going to see anything past that. That's true. Which is my issue with success, successful men or men that are older and perceive themselves in a different way that is better than other people. That's true. Younger guys do not have that. Most of them don't. You're right. I've right? gotten to like learn that lately. You know, there's a lot less judgment. There is. You're not wrong, actually, because I never went for guys my age or younger. Yeah. Right. And lately I've been talking to either someone that's exactly my age or younger. And I have been able to be really open. You have. There actually. hasn't actually been a lot of like yeah. judgment. I haven't felt as like, yeah. That's yeah. true. You're right. And I think some of it, I don't get me wrong, I think some of it has to do with the industry that they either work in yeah. as well. Some of them have a little bit more leeway with those things, but some people I think just, they view themselves on a pedestal up here compared to where the rest of the world is or where other people are based off of things that they've done. That's true. And I think they have a hard time bringing themselves to that level because they looked so down on it. That's true. Right? Yeah, you make a valid point. Younger people seem to have grown up, I feel like, because it is a different time and things that were different compared to, you know, obviously when we were growing up, I think that they just... <sighs> They have a thicker skin to things and they mm. just less care about what other people are actually doing in their lives and That's more true. care about focusing on themselves. That's true. So I don't know. Yeah. It makes a difference, I think. It does. I'm learning. I'm still not going to date 23 year olds, but. I don't date 23 year olds. That's too young. You used to. Yeah, like three years ago. You've skimmed that surface quite closely. I did. I think I have a rule though. Do you? They have to be a minimum three to four years older than my oldest son. That's a good rule. That's a very yeah. good rule. So I feel like at this point in time, 27, 28 is the youngest I could go. Okay. There we go. Yeah. There we go, gentlemen. Now you know. But in no higher than like 40. 
do I say it? What? Did you say no higher than 40? Yeah. And that's like top end. I mean, typically 36, 37. Oh my God. Why? 40's not that old. You're talking not about- Not in a girl it's not, but in a guy it is. No, it's not. 40? Yes. That really narrows it down. I. What do you mean? That's huge. 27 to like 40. That's a whole- 13 years worth of like room I have. Well, that's true. Yours is like 40 to 58, 59, 35 to whatever. I don't discriminate. So up to 60. 55. 55. 55. <laughs> like, that's fucking There's a line. gross. I know that didn't work out so well for me and last that's time. That's so gross. It did not work out. No. No. I, like yeah even the thought of that just fucking creeps me out that is so discriminatory though it there are some very good looking 50 something year olds out there i'm sure there is good jobs who are normal and not as judgy as we seem to think they all are okay it's not just like that but i mean like take all the clothes off doesn't have to be a bad thing they're not all I bad. Know. I think the whole like elasticity of skin and the Ew. looseness of that would really fuck with me. <laughs> I don't think I could do it. <laughs> I think you have. Who? Like my ex-husband is the oldest guy I've ever been with and he's only three years older That's than me. That's not true. Who? That is, think um, hair salon. Think not so long ago. Yeah, but that was really, really hard. Like, well, no. He, no, that was the opposite of that. That was, that was, that was really fucking awkward. <laughs> um, okay, first of all, though, super, 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 like, in shape. Very tight skin. Very, like, thick, tight skin. Okay. That makes a difference in, like, somebody with, like, loose old man skin. Okay. That makes a difference. That's and fair. that was for money. <laughs> so, oh, my God. Like, do this shit for free. <laughs> so, Sorry. like, uh, there's a difference. Me hooking up with somebody because I want to hook up with them, there's an age limit. Somebody convincing me to hook up with them for a benefit of some sort is a whole other fucking ball game. This which is true. We won't get into. That's okay. I can't, I can't, uh, I can't touch on it. Well, you know, it's true. I, I'm not saying you're not right. For which part? I don't know. Making that that's okay? <laughs> like, One of those. Like, I mean, I'm like sweating. Oh, oh. How, wait, where did we start with this topic? Dick pics. No. Nudes. Nudes. They're empowering for women. They are. You I look beautiful. That. Take those pictures. If you feel sexy, I say this. Take the pictures. Put on the lingerie. If you don't know how to do it on your own, Get a, a girlfriend friend. to come over, take pictures for you. Yep. Or, and then just keep them. Keep them for yourself. If you're ever feeling down and out, you look at it and be like, yeah, you know what? Damn, I look good. Or I got a lot to offer. If a guy's fucking with you, look back at those pictures and just be like, I'm a bad fucking bitch. Fuck that guy. That's right. And send him one. Yeah. Actually, no, don't. Because like, this thing, is what then, you're missing. Then you're just giving him a gift. Maybe but yeah. That's true. Yeah. Nudes can be empowering. I but I, I'm going to say, don't go shooting them out all over the place because it'll backfire for you. They can yeah. be empowering. They can be reassuring. They can boost your confidence. Take them, have them for yourself. And if you ever get to a point where you need to use them, then you've got them. Yeah. Right? I think so. I think we all have like an arsenal of them just in case. Have them back, back, back up? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Okay. So I find like the... Reusable? <laughs> yeah. I was just going to say. It's like if you date often and you go through like a few guys and it's like you have this and I'm like, I'm repurposing these pictures that I took. Oh, well, if some of them are good them enough. This person. And guys do the same thing. True. Guaranteed they do the same thing. Have you ever dated a guy though that has never asked you for a nude? No. See, I'm like, it depends on the situation, but sometimes I find that to be more of a turn on when like we're seeing each other, but like that is not something that they ask me for. I feel like... But it can also be a huge turn on at the same time. But sometimes it, it shows classiness and a level of respect. I'm probably the one who initiates the nude conversation. You are the one that initiates But the it's nude. because I want to see it 
back. That's true. So I feel like if I'm going to ask for something, I have to be willing to give something. And right. if I'm not willing to give anything, how can I ask for something? So it can't be one-sided. No. Yeah. Okay. Don't get me wrong. It's like, okay, we've sent a couple pictures. Cool. Do not ask me every day for a fucking nude. Yes, guys. There's only so many angles. Yeah. Right? Like how many... like what mo- there's there's only exactly so much to see. i'm sick of fucking sick looking at my own ass yes. i'm sick of taking pictures of my own fucking boobs bent yeah. over this bent over that like lingerie bras like it's like you've seen if you've seen five you've probably seen everything there is to see yes and i think if a guy is going to ask you for a picture he should start by sending one Okay. It's a whole other thing for me to wake like if I wake up and I'm like, you know what? I'm feeling sexy today. I'm thinking of so and so. I want to send him a picture. I took the initiative. I took the picture. I sent the picture. Right. I did it out of the goodness of my heart. So saving the world one nude at a time. Absolutely. You're an unsung hero. So th- with that, he could be like, thank you, made my day, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. I can't expect one back. But Mm. if he's going to, then obviously. But if a guy sends you the message, hey, send me something, yes, I feel like sometimes that can be offensive when we get pissy about it if we're not in a good mood. So start off by sending a picture, just being like, I was thinking about you today, whatever. And that is more likely going to make me be like, okay, now I'm going to take a picture and send it back. Okay. Right? Yeah. But for them just to like constantly ask, send me a picture, send me a picture, send me a picture, it's fucking annoying. Yeah, it is annoying. It is. Yeah. Right? It's super annoying. I agree. So I think it can be fun in the beginning. Yeah. But I mean, like, then there's a period of time where it's like, you're done. You're over it. Yeah. And then to do it randomly here and there. Absolutely. If you put something on, you feel good in it. Take the picture, send it if you want. But yes, do not continually ask over and over and over. That's what gets annoying. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're just going to see the same shit. Exactly. I wonder if they would notice if you sent the same picture over and over. Just broke it up a little bit? Well, no. It's like literally the same picture. Like you in a bra, the same color, just kept sending the same picture. If they'd be like, oh, you already sent that Yeah, I think they would. You think? I do. Yeah. I think they they critique them probably just as much as we do. I guess. Right? Yeah. So yeah, I think they would notice. Mm, Let's test that theory. (laughs) Well, I mean, mean, start sending it out. My ass looks the same no matter what day of the week that I bend over. So if you ask me for an ass picture, it's the Probably same, the ass same one. over and over. Yeah. So I should just send the same one. Maybe just change the filter on it so they'll think it's like she's a new really day. tanned this week. <laughs> yeah. Or the background in some of those apps, you can change your background, put like city lights the behind. Thing it. you really have to put forth very little effort to look amazing in nudes right now. Which is why they're fun to send. You can add tattoos. Okay. Right? You can do that. all kinds of things. Yeah. Huh. Add some neck like... tattoos like that Snapchat okay. filter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see that You can one. look really sad. <laughs> you seen that one? <laughs> no. I think I saw you do it. I don't know. You should take a nude. A nude like, like a... that. <laughs> the sad face. I'm just feeling really emotional Piece but of, like nice today. lingerie with like that filter of the sad face. I thought that's what women should start doing. If just guys being like mocking. Nudes, put the Disney totally. princess filter. You know where you get like the yes. big Disney eyes yeah. and then be like, yeah. Okay, we need to do that. That could be like, a, okay, it's like the new <laughs> anime. <laughs> you should totally yes. just have to take a couple nudes. <laughs> have you seen that meme where it's like if, if he doesn't let you fuck or if he doesn't let you fuck him with the Disney filters on, is he even the one? And they both have like <laughs> the Disney filter, but he's taking her from behind. It's fucking hilarious. I did see that. Yeah, that actually. was good. I liked that. Because they both just look so like authentic with that yeah. Disney face. Yeah. That was funny. Actually, I did see that yeah. one. See, that's why you got to be able to have fun with it. Yeah. And do it together. Yeah. Yeah. I'm down for that. Wait, what? Like, no. I didn't agree to let you have sex with me with a Disney filter on. Calm down. First of all, relax. I'm not into girls. That's true. You know this. This is true. She's not. No. I'm good. You're so so boring. Because you are and I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, I'll do it for pretend. Like exhibitionism? Well, no. Like. That's what that is. It's exhibitionism. If you're doing it for. a girl? If you're doing it for pretend and you're not actually into it yeah hold on a minute at the swingers clubs they have exhibition and 
exhibition <laughs> fucking there you go <laughs> I'll let you say that. She doesn't even drink. Anyways, they have that night, and it's just people going there, and you can watch them do whatever. And yeah. that's people who just like to be watched. Okay, that's exhibitionism. But they're not pretending. I'm confused. Okay, pretending. I can pretend that I'm into a girl. I can hook up with a girl. That's in a for show, situation. though. That's, that's what I'm saying. An exhibitionist. I kind of not me, that's the same what, thing. See, to me, that's what the definition of that is. No, if I'm going to have sex somewhere for people to watch me, yes, that's, I'm not even going to try to say that word. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> Let's what Let's hear it, Sarah. Exhibitionism. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Yes! You just got to think about it. Take I can butt. do that, but that doesn't mean I'm, like, I want to hook up with a girl. Okay. Yeah. Being bisexual, I'm not bisexual. I can fake it for the best of them, put on a show to appease a guy or for entertainment, yes. but I'm not actually into it and I don't get off from it. That's true. That's the difference. Yeah. I feel like that's a whole other topic. Yeah. Well, yeah. go down that road with you. What? On another day. Stop no, on I'm me. not meaning like to. God, you're making me uncomfortable. <laughs> it's like the second time you made a pass at me on this podcast. <laughs> Fuck you, wish. <laughs> No. I as if. No, you're not my type. You're a control freak. You're a fucking control I freak. I am not a control freak and we've already been through this. I'd like to know between you and another girl who is the more controlling one. Mm, that one. Like the one that I'm thinking? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. The other one. Actually, I could see you as a submissive. I think I'm you totally fit into that role quite nicely in like the bedroom. That's and everywhere. where I don't. Sometimes. As I got more of a submissive person in general. You are? You're more of an alpha. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. 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 I think that's why I have a hard time. You're more of a dom. I'm more of a sub. It's always been that way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's you fair. like taking charge. I do. I like others to be in charge. That means you're trusting that they know what they're doing. I know it doesn't always work out. <laughs> No, which is why I like to take charge, which is why I feel like asking a guy to see a picture of his dick before you fuck him is literally doing that. I'm taking control of my own sex life, and I'm ensuring that it's going to be worth my time and energy. Who am I to judge? Exactly. You might not be wrong. Right? Yeah. So well, maybe you should start asking for more. I think you're probably not wrong. No. Yeah. All right. Why don't we leave it on that on one? On that note. Send the nudes. Take the nudes. Just send the nudes, like, if they want them. Don't ambush people with your nudes. Ambush your girlfriend we don't want with to... your nudes. Girls. Again, I feel like you're hitting on me. <laughs> I'm not sending you nudes. <laughs> Fuck. Actually, you do. You gotta go. You do. When I ask I you. I have not. When I ask you for pictures. Like, the one time I sent you a picture of my boob to be ironic. One? Twice. I literally have, like, four in my phone of you. I had to, you had to put pineapples on there one. Do you remember? Oh, I did that? put pineapples on. There. <laughs> I did that. Yeah, I did yeah. that. And See, because I'm classy. Hold on, though. So I put pineapples. Very over specifically, them. I asked you for those nudes so I could send to a guy that no? I was sleeping with. Oh my god! One time you asked me because you said the girl that you were talking to wanted to get her boobs done. Okay, that might have been one of them. But then I very specifically asked you, okay, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. But then I very specifically asked you, can I send this picture to... I do not recall ever giving you permission for such to a D. thing. You did. Really? Yeah. He saw... Really? Yes. Okay, I don't remember this. Was I drinking? I don't know. I could have been drinking. Mind you, you I mean, I could have been drinking. Could have been drinking. <laughs> could have been drinking. Yeah. No, huh. I have. So any pic that okay. I've had that I've asked you for, nine times out of ten, I've sent it to a dude. I want yeah. all my nudes back. <laughs> I'll send them to you. <laughs> you can have them. Uh, all right. Well, we'll sign off on that note.